Hello, America. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Yep. Today is Patriots Day. Please take time to remember uh, everyone, um, all of us that were devastated by the attacks of 9-11. Uh, yes. Still seems like it was just yesterday. Um, we're not that far back. So. No, crazy. But enough sadness. We're going to talk about good things. The, the show has a different feel today. We have a different director. Oh, we do? It's Greer today, not Dan. Yep, it's Greer. It's much brighter on that side of the camera today. <laughs> she also doesn't have the flogging stick that we usually get flogged with. <laughs> she's a lot She's a lot gentler. Yes, yes. She flogs, you, uh, flogs us with stuffed animals. There we go. <laughs> she's gentle. Are you ready to kick it off, Tony? Yeah. With Are you not saying... You're welcome back. Oh, I'm back. Thank I know. all that is good in this world. I don't know who I feel worse for, you or Dan. I'm going to... I'm going to say you. So, I don't remember... I, I don't know if you remember how this goes. A little what, bit. All right. You know. I'm ready for... What's the buzz? What is the I'm buzz? I'm going to pretend like I have a buzzer. That's, yep. that's me. Bzz, bzz, bzz. An easy button. <laughs> What is the buzz? All right. First poll. Which is a must when camping? A, a hot dog, or B, a hamburger? I, You know, I like both of them. I do. I have to admit. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll usually have, like, a hamburger and a hot dog. <laughs> you know. That's Derek. Hamburger and a hot dog. Yeah. Or a brat. I, mean, yeah. I know that's a not brat. an option. But... Now, me personally, I like our Saturday night feasts at the campground. <laughs> You guys do it up. Yeah, yeah. This week we're having, this Saturday night we're having a shrimp boil. Nice. So we are, uh, we're doing up a little Cajun love this weekend. I'm coming over one weekend. I'm yeah. just going to show up. Last week we had hibachi. I saw that with the fried rice yeah. and chicken. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. They've and got bang, it bang, together. sauce. They've got it together over there. Yeah, you got to have bang, 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 bang. Well, yeah. And yum, yum. We had bang, bang, and yum, yum. <laughs> And what an incredible group of people. Yeah, you, you've definitely got to come over and hang you've out with the You've got a big, fun group that you hang out with. The crew. <laughs> so. Um, and an incredible. Bring, make sure you bring the kids because there's an incredible group of little ones running around. Uh, as long as they're not with me, I'm good. They kind of do their thing, you know. Yeah, see, that's the best. So, uh, why did I ever think that uh, bacon on a s'more? Why didn't I, I, I never thought about it. You know, and I hope Derek watches this. I am shocked that my husband has never thought, he's probably thought of it. We've just never done it. Maybe he's never mentioned it. But the salty and sweet, it makes sense. Uh, bacon goes good with anything. Right. You know. Wrap something in bacon yeah. and you're gold. Oh, you want a glass of water? Yeah, you got any bacon to go with it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So speaking of salty and sweet, a chocolate-covered potato chip. You know, that's a pretty cool. I've eaten a lot of chocolate-covered stuff. Yeah. Chocolate-covered crickets. Ooh. Yeah. But chocolate-covered crickets, all kinds of chocolate-covered stuff. Never a chocolate-covered? They're good. I've had them before. Really? They're good. They're definitely good. Were you ever the one... Did you ever put potato chips on your sandwich? You know people... So, I love Pringles sour cream and onion chips Yeah. on my gr uh, my grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, see, I've never done the potato chips on sandwiches. Yeah. But I know a lot of people that do. Yeah. I'm probably still just going to take your word for it. So, you're probably wondering why we have so many s'more recipe ideas, right? Uh, well, that and the fact that I'm hungry. <laughs> so, we put a blog on our website with s'more recipes. Which is where this came from. So they can visit our blog and see more recipes. Some s'more recipes. S'more, s'more recipes. Ba -dum -bum. Ba -dum -bum. So, <laughs> listen up, America. If you have a different s'more recipe than what we have posted on our blog, or you've done any of these, send us some pictures. Yeah, because these look fancy. 
Nothing fancy. They're just gourmet. Speaking of fancy, salted caramel. You know who would be a fan of the salted caramel s'more, I think? Mr. John Stout. He probably would be. He likes the salted caramel stuff. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, is there a... Since it's getting to that, that time, mm -hmm. and the line at... at, at uh, what's that place that people get coffee at that's Starbucks. way too expensive? Starbucks. <laughs> yes. Since the line's way too long, I wonder if there's a pumpkin spice. Oh, goodness gracious. You can get everything else pumpkin spice. Okay, I have to admit, I am not a person on this bandwagon. I don't enjoy the flavor of pumpkin very much. I enjoy pumpkin spice and pumpkin pie. Okay. I mean, I'm not a big pumpkin pie fan. If I do eat it, and that's a big if, it better be doused in Cool Whip. Just saying. That's the, fr the, the French vanilla, put a little French vanilla Cool Whip yeah. on top of some pumpkin pie. Yeah. But listen up, America. If you're that person that shows up at family dinners with a sweet tater pie, <laughs> and you stick it amongst all the pumpkin pies, and don't like officially tell everybody that that's a <laughs> sweet tater pie that's just wrong that's that that is does that make your blood boil that is un-american don't get me wrong i don't i don't dislike sweet tater pie but when you're expecting pumpkin but, but when i i love you know like pumpkin pie that's my go-to yeah that's you know i like peanut butter pie too but pumpkin pie is like it so when you're expecting that pumpkin flavor and you yeah you get sweet tater sweet tater yeah, yeah. I could see the disappointment there. Yep. <laughs> Quite a difference. Yep. So, which competitive camping activity do you do uh, you prefer? Are you a board gamer, Jake Davis, uh, or are you a corn cornholer? I'm neither. Really. Or beanbag toss, or yeah. you know, throwing bags. Everybody try to be all hashtag bags. I am neither. I'm going to admit. I just want to sit by the fire, eat my s'mores, and drink my wine. But our campground behind us, they do every Saturday night a huge cornhole tournament. Where I swear like half the campground is there for this big cornhole tournament that they do every Saturday night. And it's really cool. They've asked me if I wanted to join a few times. Derek might this Saturday. I'm just, I'm not good. First off, not good at it. I don't want to embarrass myself. And I just, I'm, I'm not a competitor. But it's not, it's not about... It's not about being good. It's about just socializing and trash talking. and Because you can be, I'm not very good either. Yeah. But I can throw one airmail, one, one hole, <laughs> one bag that doesn't touch anything that goes in. I will trash talk like I scored all 21 points. Eh. Yeah. I mean, it's just about trash talking and having fun and, and you know, hanging out with your people. So what, what do you say, America? I mean, I love board games. I'll play board games, but I just I don't when I'm camping for some reason. Stacy, Stacy hates when we play Monopoly. Like in the winter time, if we have a board game night at the house, I like to play Monopoly. She doesn't. I win you, every time. As I think every couple should play Monopoly together. Once you learn a lot about a person in Monopoly. Yes. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not giving no breaks either. If the rent says. <laughs> You better pay up. You, you better pay up. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a slumlord. I, I, I'm collecting. I just don't have enough patience. It takes too long for me. That's what Stacy says. <laughs> Around the web. I like this. I like this picture. I like how they did the little LED lights. Yeah, this is cute with their little palm tree. and They have a cute little camper. Well, if you notice, it says when you can't go to an island, you make your own. That's right. I like how they even, you know, made like the wavier lines with the light on the ground, nope. so it feels more. And that's like kind, you sand know, and we, you know, we've talked about, you know, my our our camp camp, you know, our campsite is lots of tropical stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking for a boat. I'm looking for an old wooden rowboat. To put. Um, I want to put, so, you know, I fly my pirate, I've got a pirate flag because it's all tropical themed. So I want an old rowboat that I want to put in the flower bed and then I'm going to buy, I, I found a poseable uh, skeleton. So I want to dress him up like a pirate. So it looks like he's rowing the rowboat. Oh, there you go. 
I can't I like talk it. Stacy into letting me like paint the grass blue, but I'm working on it. <laughs> we all know where you're going to go with that one. Well, <laughs> apparently the water's going to look like green algae. <laughs> oh, goodness. But. <laughs> when someone is watching me back up the RV. Yeah, do you ever... I've never backed up my RV, but I ha I can only imagine how on the spot you feel. Because yeah, because everybody everybody's watching, watching you. Yeah. I mean, it's not just your campsite. Yeah, even somebody from the campground, like there's a who who you expect to be like the professional. Yeah. You know, they took you, they escorted you to your site. Yeah. You know, the the lights glow. Duh! And here is our campsite for the weekend. <laughs> and then they stand there going. You're good. Right before you hit the tree. Yep. And all the neighbors with their beers. Yep. Watching you back. Yep. yep. Hey, y'all, watch this. It's probably intimidating. We haven't seen a good old camper makeover in a I while. Know. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. So this one, I love. It is amazing what just a little bit of paint can do. I mean, obviously, they did more than paint. There's, but a, there's a lot of little bit of paint. Yeah. But it's very, you know, it's very, you know, they went to a very rustic theme and. I even love the cow picture. There's a dog in the next picture. Oh, <laughs> dog. You got to see the dog. The there's dog's a doggy. Turned, did they get rid of the dog though? We got a before <laughs> and after, but there's no dog in the after. They made the dog move for the after pictures. That's the same camper. Yes. It's adorable. Yeah. The doggo looking out the window, why you leave me in here? <laughs> I'm such a good baby. Okay, so this is actually like a little, it's got bunks. Looks like they did wallpaper. Now, were there three bunks or did they add the third bunk? No, I think there were three bunks there. Okay. That was a triple bunk floor plan, but that that's super cool. I mean, yeah. very useful on the space. Yeah, I like it. It, it is very cool. I, I can't imagine the owner going, you know, look, you got to take your shoes off, like, like, like way away from the camper. Right. You can't even walk on the patio mat, you know, the, the awning <laughs> mat with the, yeah. Yeah, this thing is very pristine and gorgeous. Yes. The phenomenal job. It's time for Gadget, Gadget Corner. Corner. All right. Who was it? We'll let Tony do it this time. Bring it on over, Greer. Look how light that thing is. <laughs> so, what do we have? We've got ourselves a solar panel. I thought Greer was like unpacking her Bond Girl briefcase and she was getting to, ready to get her chromium laser out. And... But no, nope. it's actually a Go Power. Mm -hmm. 120 watt solar panel kit. Yep. You want to be off the grid? This gives you the capability you can be off the grid. Yes. So it actually comes in three different sizes. This is actually the medium size, correct? I believe I'm correct on that one. So yeah, medium size on this one. It's going to plug straight into your camper to sustain the, the life of your battery while you're boondocking, you know, kind of off the grid a little bit. It's got a handle. It's got, got a handle. So there are obviously a lot of different types and options when it comes to solar panels, solar prep. Um, so definitely our parts department would be happy to help you and talk you through that. Because we do get asked a lot yeah. about solar panels and solar options for yeah. the campers. So the coolest thing about this, America, is it's modular, which means... If you get the coolest spot in the campground, which is always underneath the biggest shade tree, mm -hmm. and you want to use your solar panels, they're modular, so you can put them over here or over there or up front or back in the back or on your neighbor's spot or, you know, hey, it just doesn't matter. They'll get over it. <laughs> no, but this is neat because it's, it's very stow and go and yep. a lot easier. And it weighs, I don't know, 40 pounds maybe? Yeah. So, 
but super cool, and you can walk around looking like a Bond villain or a Bond girl. feel very high class. Yes. I, you know, just to add to it, you need to get a, like a plastic set of like kids handcuffs, like out of the little, oh, and then like you put it around you, like you're carrying something <laughs> important through the campground. Just like, to mess with people. Who is that? <laughs> you get the little, little coily, uh, springy, slingy, uh, uh, key ring thing and you like yes. stick it up around. You yes. like talk into your wrist occasionally. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the package. While you're setting it up. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got good. the package. If you can't have fun at the campground. Then you I shouldn't mean, be camping. That's what it's all about. It is. Fun and relaxation. Fun and relaxation and international person of mystery. <laughs> that's Tony in a nutshell. You know, I don't know why on all those, like, action movies, the villain always has, like, some big, huge layer. Yeah. If they would just hide incognito, like, in a campground, people would be like... Never know. That's just your average weirdo at the campground. Yeah. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. your average weirdo at the <laughs> Oh, my goodness. It's time for... What the what? What the what? Maybe we can find some evil layers in what the what. Let's we see. need some t-shirts that say what the what. Oh, there we go. I just wear it all the time. <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. What the what? What the what? So, I don't know where to, where to start on the first one. It looks like you can even, it. okay, this must be like a business of some sort. Because it's got like a place where you can take flyers, it looks like. And maybe these are like, I don't know, menus or something on it. I can't tell what those are. But it does have the nice little compartments in the back to hold apparently your oil or whatever that is back there. Uh, well, that's that's a that's a jug of antifreeze. Okay, I was like, it's got to be like motor oil <laughs> Something. And then, and, and it kind of looks like whatever the the flyer that's a, connected to it on the says two. So is this like a mobile outhouse? And there's like a, no, there, the door on the right hand side up by the cab is for number one, and <laughs> you go in the little back door back there for, for number, number two. two. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it makes me a little nervous because it's kind of like falling apart at the bottom. There's been some breakage. Uh, well, and, and plus the fact that it's all made out of wood. So. Yeah, it just doesn't seem very sturdy. I think my camper got the termites. <laughs> or carpenter ants or carpenter bees. Yeah, or... I just, I think I really want to know what the purpose of, like, what it's used for. It's obviously used for something. Hmm. Greer, you're going to have to do a little more research. <laughs> Fire hazard. Fire, <laughs> Fire hazard. hazard. <laughs> oh, speaking of ones with a purpose. Look at that. It's a cow. <laughs> motorhome on the range. How is this is kind of cute? That's motorhome. Motorhome. Motorhome on, on the range. <laughs> this is actually kind of cute. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> Wait though, where's the entrance? <laughs> Lift up its tail. Are you you're entering through the back end? Let's hope there's an entrance on the other side. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna doubt it though. See, well, I mean, there's like another window or something over there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna say that that's a door <laughs> over there on the other side. Uh. <laughs> hey, here's Dan and Jordan's new RV motorhome. <laughs> what? What is this thing? It's a bicycle made for 42. There you go. Yeah, Dan and Jordan could pedal us around. Yeah. That'd just be Dan nowadays. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jordan doesn't bike anymore. He'd stop. Yeah, he he's got all kinds of excuses why he can't. Well, Dan, you'll need to find a partner on this one. It'd be a little hard to do it by yourself. I won't be the other one. It's too much work. Yeah. 
the, you know, that completely negates the whole reason for camping is relaxing. Yeah, mm-mm, you know? I'm not going to break a sweat. I mean, just when you're packing up to leave out of the campground, not you because you actually live in the campground. But, <laughs> but under normal circumstances, normal human beings, that on Sunday when it's time to pack up and leave the camper, you're always like, I hate leaving here. And then this, it's, oh, my God, I hate leaving here because you got to <laughs> pedal it home. i got to take it. i got to pedal it yeah. home. And you know that whoever actually built this and owns this likes to tell everybody, seems like every campground we got to ride 37 miles uphill both ways. Yeah, let's hope you're going through a level campground. Oh, look at this tiny little ball of cuteness. It looks like a spaceship. Okay, I want. Okay, so this must be like a museum of different type of campers, though, because they're all over the place. I want to go there, but this one's cute. It's like a little bubble. It's like the camper for, didn't John Travolta play the boy in the bubble? Oh, yeah. Years ago. I was going to say the Jetsons, like the camper for the Jetsons. It makes that little noise. (laughs) (laughs) Meet George Jetson. All right. It's time. For who sold it better? Your favorite segment, Tony. We're going to let you pick. Oh, I'm picking first? Am I picking for me or for you? No, you get to go first. Okay. You weren't here last week. I'm going to pick B. Holy moly. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the nice thing about this one... The demo's done for you, okay? It's a it's a clean slate to do whatever you want, including replacing the walls. <laughs> you might be able to scrounge up, so, you know, reuse some parts that are on the ground. So, this is a good clean slate camper. It's open and air. Yeah, I mean, it is air. very open concept. <clears throat> But you could add like a screen, like put a screen there, and it's kind of like a hybrid at yeah. this point, you know? Yeah. It also might be a PSA, uh, public service announcement for, you know, don't cook bacon in your camper when <laughs> bears are around. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I would like to know the story behind what happened. <laughs> yeah. It's just horrible vandalism. <laughs> horrible vandalism. But yeah, I mean, it looks we're, like <laughs> we're never staying in that campground again. <laughs> it looks like when you're when you're ready to paint, they even give you a nice white like jacket or tarp to use. You know, <laughs> you're just thinking about what you're gonna need yeah. to redo this camper. It does have a max air vent cover on the top of Look it, though. That that'll add value. Yes. <laughs> That's the most expensive thing yeah. on the camper, right there. Yeah. But yeah. All right. I'm serious. <laughs> hmm. <Wait a coughs> so obviously it's a uh, started out as a double decker bus that somebody has uh, retrofitted. It's absolutely beautiful. Look, you can look up at the sky. You can see the. You can see the stars, you can see the rain, everything like that. I would assume that you put the bedroom upstairs and the living room downstairs, but you know, super cool. I mean, you could go any place, take it any place. Hey everybody. So as you can see, we experienced just a tad bit of technical difficulties. Normally, about this time, you would see Tony and Mallory saying their goodbye until next week and wishing everybody a happy week. Uh, but them being the talent that they are, I didn't want to bring them back just for that. So you get stuck with this face here. So sorry about that. Everyone have a great and safe weekend. I hope everyone enjoys camping. Please send us uh, pictures of all your camping adventures. And until next week, hopefully we'll get it all right next week.